about radio. Hi guys, my name's Andy and in this video I'm going to uh, set about the uh, alignment of uh, the RF alignment of my Eddystone S680X communications receiver. Um, so uh, I'm not a professional radio repairer but I'm just sharing with you uh, what I do. I'm sure the professionals do things completely different to the way I'm doing it and I'm not saying that what I do is the, uh, the right way or the best way it's simply what I'm doing with the equipment that I've got to hand so anyway I hope you enjoy it this is my Eddystone S680X communications receiver and um, I'm just checking the alignment that is to make sure that when the pointer is on say 15 megahertz that it's actually receiving uh, stations at 15 megahertz and uh, there are five bands on the radio and four of the bands the alignment is very good uh, surprisingly so uh, but on um, band four uh, which covers uh, 2.5 megahertz down to uh, 1.1 megahertz uh, the alignment is a little bit adrift and I'll, I'll show you um, uh, what it's doing. Um, okay, the radio is working. So I say, uh, the radio is working, um, uh, but I, I will go through the alignment procedure on, uh, on that one band, and I'm also going to check out the uh, alignment of the, uh, the IF transformer, simply because I've got everything set up to enable me to do that. The equipment that I'm going to be using uh, for the alignment is, uh, my signal source is the uh, advanced um, signal generator there. I've had that on for a good few hours to try and get it uh, nice and stable. I'll be modulating that with uh, my level uh, signal generator. So I'll be putting in uh, an audio tone or audible tone into the advance to modulate that. Then down there I've got a, a frequency counter uh, which will be monitoring the frequency uh, coming out of the advance uh, and that signal I'm, I shall just be um, having off the lead out of the advance I won't be making a direct connection to the radio there'll just be um, uh, the probe and I might need a little uh, bit of wire clipping on the end just so there's enough signal for the radio to pick up um, the other equipment there, I won't be using it necessarily in this video, but that's a wobulator and uh, that's a scope that I use with the wobulator. And when I get round to setting up the IFs, I'll be using uh, those two bits of kit, uh, as well as the, uh, the advance. Okay, I'll, I'll show you what the alignment looks like uh, on the radio at the moment. So this is the tuning dial and uh, you'll see it says uh, uh, 680X uh, the serial number plate actually says S so Sierra 680X-ray and then the other controls we've got selectivity maximum and minimum 
uh, AVC, noise limiting, uh, AF gain, crystal phasing, that ought to be off, um, the tuning knob, and then the, the, uh, uh, the five bands, uh, which is 30 to 12.3, 12, .3, 12 0.5 to 5.3, 5.7 to 2.5 and 2.5 to 1.11 megahertz, all those are megahertz, and then uh, band 5 is uh, 1120 to down to 480 uh, kilohertz, or as it's got there, KCs. This radio would have been made in the 1950s like me. Uh, uh, beep frequency oscillator, BFO, and that's the on and off. Um, uh, and that's a send that allows you to uh, switch the radio off if it's used with a transmitter or switch the receiver off in here. Uh, RF gain and the mains power switch. Uh, so I'll look at the uh, what I'm going to call band one, they call number one there, so one, two, three, four, five. So the band one, and that's on the top here and I'm going to go to the middle of the uh, dial or something like that. I have checked it out at, uh, well all the way along actually um, but I, I'm just going to take it to the middle now and just flip through each of those uh, five bands. So I've set the uh, advance uh, to 19 meg. I've got the um, uh, frequency counter there checking that and I've got it as near as 19 as I can get. Very twitchy control here. I really need to put a, a, a little trimmer on there uh, but that's actually coming in at 19.009 so near enough for what I want and then on the dial uh, we're on the uh, this top uh, band here there so that's 19 meg there and uh, you can just hopefully you can hear that and there's nothing spurious either side so, um, so I'm very happy with that now I'll come to the next band um, so uh, now we'll look at uh, something like uh, 8 megs so uh, this is uh, 8 megs if I could see where I'm looking in the camera um, zoom in a bit more so that's 8 megs so just slightly to the side there but uh, I can live with that and uh, so next I'll go to uh, let's say four megs. Okay, I've tuned the uh, the advanced to four megs, and that's the four as you can see here. And why can't I hear that? Right. Uh, what's happening is so I'm just going to put a little aerial as we've gone down in frequency it's, uh, it doesn't transmit as well so this is just a little bit of wire there on the end of the probe that's coming from the the advance and that just gives you uh, the radio is something to pick up. So again, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, so next I'll go down to uh, 1.8. I've got that on uh, 1.79997 uh, 
this uh, let's say this advance uh, is very very twitchy uh, but that's going to be close enough and uh, I'm looking for 1.8 here and you can see that it that is slightly adrift So that's where it should be. That's where it is. And I think I just turned the gain down. Um, what you should remember is that, um, say, on this band, uh, my little finger there is covering one meg. So from the 20 to the 21 is one meg. Whereas on this band, it's. Um, uh, 1.8 to 1.9 there um, and that's uh, you know a tenth of a meg um, but anyway that's the uh, uh, the band that's out for completeness I'll just look at the um, 800 Hertz uh, down here so now I've got the signal generator set at uh, 800 kilohertz And that's uh, that's on the line there. Okay, so that's what I've got at the moment. So it's this um, uh, band four that I'm uh, going to look at. I forgot to say for those uh, last two bands, uh, the lower frequencies, I uh, put a, a longer uh, antenna on my um, output from the signal generator. So. Uh, that's uh, what's that? That's probably about um, uh, thirty centimeters, so about a foot, uh, just onto the end of my uh, little homemade probe there.